Hello everybody, you're at home on the tools with James. In the front yard today, we're gonna to check out the ALSO Solo Leaf Vac. So I bought this vac at the start of spring um, in Australia here, and I bought it for the reason of, uh, I got a cylinder mower. And uh, what I didn't realize when I bought that cylinder mower is that uh, when you're mowing the lawn, it actually doesn't pick up the leaves. It doesn't pick up the debris like the rotary mower did. So it got me looking, right? Got me looking for the leaf vax, and I'm, I'm, a, I'm a bloke that always goes out and does his research first, uh, get the best price. It's gotta be fit for purpose. Uh, and then I've gotta be happy with it, right? Because if you don't get a bargain, you're not happy with it, it's a, it's a poor sale. So I bought this thing uh, at the start of spring for the lawn mower, and uh, I did a lot of research, and uh, it, was, it was a hard little bugger to find, actually. I shouldn't say little, it's huge found a lot of billy goats so the billy goats are all on the market and they were quite expensive and you know i really couldn't justify spending two thousand dollars plus australian uh, on a leaf vacuum when the vacuum cleaner inside is probably only worth 500. so i did some research and uh and looked around and found the alko solo and the reason i knew about the brand solo is that uh, they make really good pressure pack pumps uh, for, for your fertilizers and your pesticides and i've got one of those so I went with this brand. They're, uh, they're built in Austria, so you know you're gonna get some good quality coming out of a country uh, in the EU. And uh, look, it, it's, a, it's a fantastic unit, and I wanna tell you why, and I'm um, certainly not sponsored by this brand at all. This is just my uh, unbiased opinion uh, after, using the, uh, after using the machinery. I'll tell you the good points first. The good points is it does its job. It meets the mark, so absolutely, it'll suck every leaf up, no problem. It will pick them up wet, it'll pick them up dry, it'll mulch them, it'll do the whole job for you, fantastic. And I've got gum trees in the backyard and I've got deciduous pear trees in the front yard. And you, know, you can see on the, on the grass around here, I've got a real mess on my hands already. Um, so fit for purpose, absolutely, does its job. Price, really happy with the price. So I ended up getting this bad boy here for about 1,200 Australian dollars uh, and looking around, you know, in, the, in most, uh, most mower shops, it was sort of trending at around $1,350, $1,400. And uh, I just so happened to walk into my local mower shop here in town. And believe it or not, they had one. They had one on the floor. And, uh, and they sold it to me uh, at a good price. I got about for about $1,200. It does come with an accessory kit that you can put on it. It's basically a blanking plate that goes up inside the base of it. And then a hose comes out of where the bag connects here. And you can also use it to get uh, leaves out of your gardens and your rock beds, etc. Uh, I haven't bought that. That's a $400 purchase for a piece of hose. I wasn't really prepared to do that. Uh, I wanted it for the purpose of picking up the leaves on the ground anyway. Um, maybe, maybe down the track I might mod something up. So absolutely fit for purpose. Does a great job. Got a great price. Happy with that. Some negatives, some bad points that I don't like about the machine. So for one, it's got a really wide front. And uh, I try and get it in and out of the garden shed and you've got to manoeuvre it in um, to try and get it through because it's quite wide. It's actually wider. Uh, than, a, than a standard doorway. So that was one point that I, that I don't like. Two, it's got, uh, it's got the bag that's attached on the back with a screw. And I have to keep a trusty screwdriver in the top in here every time you want to empty the bag. I think uh, a quick release uh, would be nice in that space. Another point is that uh, the bag, it, it's huge. If you look at the bag on the side here next to me, you know, it's quite a large bag. And if you fill that with leaves, uh, particularly if they're wet, it's very, very heavy. You'll never lift it into the waste bin. Um, so, you know, I typically only find myself filling it up about a third and then the bag starts to drag on the ground anyway uh, and I empty it. Um, and probably the last thing that I'm, I'm not too sold on uh, is the way they have their little uh, guide heights for near the wheels. Uh, they're pretty cheap. They're pretty nasty. And I can, I can see them snapping and I'll probably have to make my own mod for it uh, somewhere in the future. Uh, but for now they are holding on but those points aside um, this bad boy it, it sucks it sucks really really good so you will not be disappointed uh, if you were to buy it you go over your wet grass it'll pick every leaf up concrete you name it, it it'll it'll pick it all up you've got to keep it off gravel you've got to keep it off rocks it'll suck them all up uh, and it mulches it as we go um, which is a really good point as well because uh, you can actually use this for a mulcher you can you can put directly into the feed line um, sticks and debris and stuff and, uh, and turn it into mulch. But um, I'll give you a little bit of a, de a demo on how it works. Uh, it is an easy start. It's got, the, it's got the Briggs & Stratton 140 easy start motor on it. Pump the button three times, pull the cord, away it goes. Um, you don't need to be a pro to run this thing. It's very, very simple. 
but you do need space for the bad boy. It does take up a lot of room. Um, I've, I'm on about half an acre, so it fits my needs, but if you had a small, uh, a small apartment or something like that with, a, with just a courtyard garden, uh, this is not your machine. You're better off going for one of those bag vac type um, machines that are on the market. But uh, I'll give you a run through so you can see how it works. And then, um, yeah, thanks for, uh, thanks for checking out the video. So you can see here I've got a, uh, a pile of leaves uh, that are blown into the street and uh, the reason I did that I, I use a, a blower uh, just underneath my trees there because I've got a lot of mulch there and if I run the machine over it'll suck all my mulch up which I don't want to do. So I find if I use the blower I can uh, I can blow the leaves into the street and then uh, and let the vac do its thing and certainly make short work of it and uh, makes the, the neighbours envious that's for sure. So there you have it there's the tool review of the uh, ALKO Solo 750p lawn vac. And as you can see, it's uh, it's reversed autumn for me, and now I can get the uh, get the cylinder mower down and get a really nice cut in. So, thanks for watching. Uh, you've been on the tools with James. See you in the next one.